Hello, it's Mitch Watkins, the roof coating guy. Today I'd like to talk about ceramic roof coatings and their impact on the industry. Like any industry, roofing does have its snake oil flim flam salesman. And that's what I want to talk about. If you, talk, if you look at my computer, we see an obvious picture of a cool roof. Infrared image on the right shows how much cooler the roof is compared to the surrounding area. We all know that you can't transfer heat or cold through a vacuum. We also know that a White car is a lot cooler on a hot sunny day than a black car. We'd much rather get into the white car than the black car. In any industry, it's all about the prep. What I talk about a lot of times with roofers and in when I do seminars, I talk about, listen, this whole idea of miracle in the bucket is just, a, is just that. It's a bunch of BS. If you don't prep the roof, if you don't waterproof the roof, the coating by itself is not going to fix all the problems. Simple as that. That's a misrepresentation in the industry. We can't just go up and coat your roof and we're going to fix all your problems. We've got to do the proper prep. And ceramic by itself isn't going to do it either. Now I use Geico products, but they're overrepresenting it here from NASA to your neighborhood. What's that all about? There's companies like Rhino Shield, Super Therm, Thermo Shield, Ceramitech. Let's say if you put these hollow ceramic beads, about 40 microns, into the coating, you get all these wonderful benefits. That's BS. They'll say, listen, this roof coating will last 30, 40, 50 years. We'll give you an R120 with this coating. That's over-representation. Total BS. Don't fall for it. Wait a minute, didn't they just retire the shuttle? That's 20th century technology. Give me a break. Oh, it's shuttle technology, space age, NASA, this and that. Don't fall for it. What they like to say is, listen, they, we, by putting these microscopic hollow vacuum ceramic spheres into the coating, we're doing the same thing as the space shuttle. These ceramic tiles reflect the heat. They don't absorb the heat. So we can do the same with your roof. Oh, no, not this. Here's a guy using a blowtorch. He's put the ceramic beads on his hand and he's using a blowtorch. Well, it probably isn't going to burn your hand, but listen, your roof coating doesn't have a UR rating. It's not a fire retardant. The manufacturer doesn't have a rating. It's not a fire retardant. You can't rep represent this as a fire retardant. Sorry, it's not how it works. Unless the manufacturer says it's a fire retardant, it's not a fire retardant. Complete misrepresentation. Waste of time. This is what you need. You need a good crew. Look, this guy right here. Great salesman. This is the roof coating guy, Mitch Watkins. These two individuals are highly skilled. They're very good at what they do. They know how to waterproof. They know how to seal your roof. That's what you need. You don't need a bunch of snake oil flim flam. Here's a metal roof that we did the waterproofing on. We went around the skylight. This was rotten. This was rusted around the skylight. We three coursed it with polyester fabric and elastomeric caulking. Same thing. Here's an old mushroom plastic vent. This is obviously a butler roof. This is You can't get these vents anymore because they were made back in the 80s by butler and they just don't make them anymore. So we went around this. We three coursed around this with the fabric, elastomeric caulking. Same with the skylights. We waterproofed the skylights. We did all the penetrations. This is how you do it, folks. Not a bunch of miracle in the bucket. This is what it looks like after we start spraying the roof. You can notice this section down here is already starting to set up. This is about a half hour, 45 minutes ago. Also, little tip is I usually spray up at least two or three rows of screws. I go real heavy right here. This is where I try to load it up. This is where it's going to tend to leak. The water is going to try to puddle there. You're going to get hydrostatic pressure. It's going to force its way in. This is where you want to concentrate on. Uh-oh, here I am again. Mitch Watkins, the roof coating guy. Spraying this section of the roof. I'm also going to splice in a short video here showing me spraying the section. Also, pay attention to my gun. This is my design. It's an ergonomic gun. Uh, it makes spraying a lot easier. I'm getting older. I don't want to be bent over all day. I don't go for that 18-inch uh, spray wand anymore. That's just uh, archaic. We don't do that. 